Imagine I wrote a little function like parse price. It takes a jQuery object, gets its text, matches a regular expression, and then from the matched object, it finds the groups and the name group price. So later it can convert it to a float. How would you test this? Would you prepare maybe an examples page and run side.get then parse price on the jQuery object? Well, no. If you have a little function and it needs a jQuery object, there is a convenient way of testing this, almost like unit testing this, using Cypress. You can wrap a jQuery object and the easiest way to construct it is to use the jQuery bundled with Cypress. All you need to do is pass a string. For example, you can say, give me a paragraph element with, let's say, 199 and close the paragraph. Now this will give you a Cypress chain, it will create a jQuery object, and now you can say, okay, once you have jQuery object, but you are have inside the chain, you can say parse price. Okay, so what does it yield us? You can add an assertion, equal 199. And now you can see in the command log that it's true. Now you might ask, why can't I um, create the object myself? without using Cyrap. You could, but then what happens, uh, you can say price, you would extract it, and you would expect price to equal 199. Now, notice that you don't actually see the jQuery object that you're working with, right? So compare this to Cyrap. You can open the command log, right? Look at the object, right? inspected and so on. So I actually prefer having Cypress command chains to using plain unit tests because those don't provide any intermediate output that I can easily debug with. Having said that, we can add more tests. Let's say we can confirm that if it's negative, if it has minus in front of it and it parses it correctly, that if you have extra text, maybe price is after discounts. Okay, so we parse the price even if it's run by other tags. And we can also confirm that it handles edge cases. For example, if there is no price, let's say dot dot dot, then it should be what? Well, in this case, it's not a number. And no, perfect. So this is how you could use bundle Cypress jQuery to quickly create elements on demand inside your Cypress test and still have command log that you can use to debug the tests.